Happy Tuesday, smart sleepers. I hope you had a great weekend and a great start to your week. I want to talk about being addicted to stress. I don't know if this resonates with you. <laughs> so let me describe what I mean a little bit. So I see this especially with high performers. They want to get stuff done. They thrive on being busy. They have tight deadlines. You feel like there's never enough time to get everything done and you can't ever sit around doing nothing. Does that sound familiar? <clears throat> if so, you're addicted to stress. And let me tell you why. So during the stress response, your body releases adrenaline, cortisol, and dopamine. And these make you feel really good. Dopamine especially activates reward center in your brain. So when you feel that stress in the moment, <coughs> excuse me, your brain gets a hit of feel good chemicals that keeps you coming back for more. Your body still wants it. So I'm not talking about drugs here, but it sure sounds like it, doesn't it? When your body releases those stress hormones, you get a surge of energy. You also become more focused and get a boost of creativity. So then it is easier to meet that deadline and finish sending that email or put out whatever fire you're putting out. And that feels good too. So it's easy become, to become addicted to the rush of dopamine and then how good it makes you feel um, during that stress response. But as with any addiction, there are downsides too. So being constantly stressed makes it hard to be in the moment and focus on your loved ones. It makes it hard to disconnect from work, to truly relax when you go on vacation, and to turn your brain off at night. So instead of focusing on what's most important, you address what's most urgent. You're busy, but not necessarily productive. And so you lose focus on what's going to help you achieve your goals. Your body also can't handle being stressed all the time. And so eventually, it's going to lose the ability to make cortisol and for the receptors in your brain to receive cortisol. And that's when you will start experiencing symptoms. So that can be anything from high blood pressure to weight gain to anxiety, depression, irritability um, to insomnia, of course. So if you're experiencing any of these symptoms and your body is out of whack and you could very well be addicted to stress and those symptoms aren't going to go away until you learn how to slow down and manage your stress. So I'm talking about psychological stress, but there's also physical stress that causes insomnia too. So that's why I address both the mental and the physical stress so we can get to the root cause of what is causing your sleeplessness. So if you are tired of being exhausted and unproductive during the day and awake at night, I can help you sleep so that you wake up rested, full of energy, and eager to focus on what is most important in your work and life. If that sounds good, then let's chat. I will talk about what, you can tell me what's going on with your sleep and I can talk about um, how I can help you know, how we can do these lab tests to get to the root cause of what's going on physically and how I address the mental part too. So if you're addicted to stress, you might feel good now, but keep in mind that it's not going to last forever. And once you start experiencing symptoms, especially insomnia, and many people experience other symptoms, then it's something that you want to address now because it's just going to keep on getting worse. Anyway, I'll leave you with good news. It's fixable and you can sleep. So please get in touch if you aren't sleeping and we will figure it out. Thanks for listening.